My name is Jason, and my career has been spent working in large corporations and also government. Recently, I've found an interest and passion in activism, politics, and the media, and a new friend has persuaded me to share my thoughts on the vlog. This is my vlog. It's about my life and challenging the stories that we're given about what is going on in our world. Investigative, thoughtful, fun. Been sent out on a sunny day to do the shopping. Can you believe that? I should be sitting on the patio with a beer in my hand or something like that. But anyway, I just wanted to take a bit of time while I'm out to reflect a little bit on how things have been since the election and how people are treating each other. I've seen people called Nazis, idiots, communists, terrorist sympathisers, terrorists, all, sort of, all sorts of nasty things. And I've also seen people saying they don't want to engage anymore because they've had enough or it's making them anxious. And to be quite honest, I can't blame them. I've actually started unsubscribing from some forums and, and stopping the political debate because a lot of it's really horrible. And, and I guess what I want to understand is why that is. Why do we have to boil politics and differences of opinion down to petty name calling and just being nasty and, and undermining each other? Why can't we have nice, friendly, sensible discussions and move forward together based on facts rather than fiction? When I was working in some of the big corporates, we would build teams, we'd discuss things, we'd work together to achieve a common goal, and that was generally to, de to deliver something. And we'd always do that. Come rain or shine or whatever, it would happen. We'd make it happen and it would be done positively. Yes, things got stressful. Yes, there are differences of opinion. But no one fought over stuff. No one fell out. And there wasn't nastiness and unpleasantness. Stuff just got done. So what I don't understand is why when it comes to politics, people do get nasty, people do call each other names, people do undermine each other, people do fall out, there is bad feeling, and things don't move forward. I mean, one of the biggest messages of the election is that people aren't happy with the status quo. Jeremy Corbyn would never ever have won the numbers he won if people didn't want change. Uh, we don't know what the reasons are yet. A lot of people are saying that younger voters have got involved and, and they're driving the change. But I also think that possibly there's people who have been feeling bad about what's happening to them and other people and they've got engaged as well. You know, the people who have been vilified have got engaged and said, no, we're not having any more of this. We want change and we want better things for everyone. So if that's the case, if people are stepping in and saying we want change and we want things to be better, why is no one learning from that? Why are people still calling each other names and slagging each other off in order to undermine an argument? What I would like to see, instead of saying he's a communist, she's an ars a Nazi, they're terrorist sympathisers, what I would like to see is people saying I don't agree with the policy on immigration or I don't think people should be protecting what we perceive to be terrorists or I think people should be protecting people that we perceive to be terrorists and then saying why they think that and why not. I don't want to see people being called names and people being nasty to them just to, polit just to achieve a political <laughs> objective. I mean, what is the point? So my challenge for myself, because I know I'm probably guilty of it as much as anyone else, although I really try hard not to, my challenge to myself and to you is, instead of name calling, instead of categorising people and putting them in boxes and saying they're X, Y, Z, cut back to policy, cut back to what the actual argument is about and have the discussion about that, about that fact. Don't call each other names, don't undermine each other, just have the sensible, adult, non-schoolyard discussion. See how you get on.